Well, you're supposed to be right here with me Life goes by fast, will it slow down? We got older, where did it go now? Back in time when all we had was you and me Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is another super highly requested video. You guys want to grow your booty without growing your thigh. You want no equipment, no jumping and 15 minutes long. So here you go. This is actually one of my personal favorite workouts because my main goal right now is actually to grow my booty. I have the Asian flat booty jean. My butt was non-existent before and even now it's not like a Kim Kardashian butt. But still I'm very happy with my progress and I thought I would share my workout routine with you guys. In this workout, you will hear me keep repeating squeeze your booty, squeeze it hard because that's actually the key to target the glute muscles in these exercises. There will be 15 exercises in this workout but I'll also show you guys two more advanced moves by the end of this video if you're interested. Alright, if you're ready, let's go! You and I till the end. Okay, good, good. Got one, two. Like chest head, let's get ready to work our booty. We're first starting with my favorite and also the classic booty exercise, glute bridge. Exercise. Lie on the mat, knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Your arms at the side with palms down. Engaging the glute muscles, lift your hips off the ground as high as you can. Squeeze your booty hard for a few seconds at the top, but remember to keep your abs drawn in so you don't overextend your back. Then lower your butt back down to lightly touch the floor and immediately lift it back up to the bridge position to keep the tension in the muscles. If you're not feeling the burn, squeeze your booty harder. Let's set a goal to make this workout count. Fast exercise done. Second one will stand back up for slow squat down with pose. Feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Hands together in front of your chest. Exercise. Squat down slowly, counting two seconds until your thighs are parallel to the floor. With your head and chest up, then come up to half of the squat without standing up all the way. And squat back down, this is the pose. And stand back up to complete the rep. The key here is to squat down slowly, then do the pulse quick to give the maximum burn to your booty. Again, squeeze it hard throughout the whole movement. We want to grow that booty, we gotta put in the work. Third exercise, another one of my absolute favorite booty exercise, donkey kick. Hands directly under your shoulders and your knees directly under your hips. Exercise. We'll first start on the right side. With your right knee off the floor, still bending, then raise it behind you and extend it towards the sky as you squeeze your booty. Lower it down but have it off the floor to keep the tension in the muscle. You should feel the right side of your butt getting sore that's where we're working on. Try to keep your back and spine neutral. Switch to left leg after 22 seconds. Keep it nice and controlled. Be mindful that we're using the booty muscles to do the work, not our back or the momentum. Good job guys, I hope you like this one as much as me. Next, stand back up for reverse lunge pauses. Hands in front of your chest, take a big step back with one leg into reverse lunge so that both legs are in 90 degree angle. Here, do two pauses before stepping your leg back together and switch side. We'll alternate side for 45 seconds. Squeeze the booty during the pauses. This exercise always makes my butt so sore the next day, but no pain, no gain. Keep it moving, no stopping. Yes. 
and rest a bit, we're moving on to our fifth exercise, glute bridge hold. This is exactly the same as our first exercise, but once we lift our butt up, we're not coming down. Exercise. We're holding our booty up in the air for 45 seconds straight, squeezing your booty together the whole time. You should be forming one straight line from your knees, hip, and shoulders. Keep it up, don't drop. I'm staying here together with you every second. Let's enjoy the burn and remind ourselves our goals and why we started this workout. We're finishing one third of this workout. Finally, bum down. Enjoy this 15 seconds rest and we'll stand up for a side lunge. We'll first work on the right side. Exercise. First, legs together with your hands in front of your chest. Then step right leg to the side, shifting your body weight to it and bending the knee until it reaches a 90 degree angle and other leg is straight. Your butt is pressing back behind you. Then push through your heel and booty working it to return to center standing position. Repeat on the side for 22 seconds before we switch to left leg. This is perfect for growing the booty and slimming the thighs at the same time. Don't give up, you're doing great so far. That's a good one. Next, let's come down to all four for fire hydrant. Same starting position as donkey kick. Again, we're starting with right side. Can you change? Mm -hmm. Exercise. Keeping the right knee bent at 90 degrees angle. Squeeze your booty and lift your right leg up until it is parallel to the floor. Here, squeeze your booty together and you should be feeling the burn. Lower your leg back down but still keeping it off the floor. This is one rep. Repeat on the side for 22 seconds and switch side. Two, one, change. The key here is to keep your body stable so we're lifting the leg using our booty, not swinging it up with our body and back. Okay guys, stand up and let's get on to our 8th exercise, crab walk. Hands in front of your chest, lower your bum to half squat position and squeeze your booty to lift one leg up towards the side and then the other up so you're moving sideways. After 3 steps on each leg, we'll stand back up and squat down again to go in the opposite direction. Don't stop guys! Once you stand up, go back down immediately and keep moving to keep the intense burn in the booty. I'm facing you just to show you how it looks. You can just face one side the whole exercise. This is hard I know, but trust me, this works. No pain, no gain. Push it through to the very last second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're halfway through this workout. Let's lie back down, we deserve it. Ninth is frog pump. Exercise. This is pretty similar to glute bridge, but here we're targeting different angles of the booty by having our feet together, facing each other and our thighs apart. This helps us to squeeze the booty even more and work the little glute muscles that we normally neglect. Pump up and down and lightly tap the floor without resting your bum on the mat. Keep squeezing the booty. The burn is real because we're doing it right. Yes. 
Now let's get into a plank position for single leg plank with pulses. This is not just for growing the booty, but also slimming the thighs and working out core for slimming the waist. I think it's cute. Exercise. Starting in regular plank, elbows on the ground, shoulder width apart, hands together, body in one straight line. Work the booty to lift right leg off the floor and start pulsing up and down for 22 seconds before we switch to left leg, meaning there's no dropping right leg to the floor the whole 22 seconds. Three, two, one, keep pulsing, keep working the booty and the abs. Keep going guys, we're almost there. Only one third of this workout left. Good work everyone, you're doing amazing. 11th exercise is donkey kick pulses. This is just like the donkey kick we did, but this time when we lift our right leg up, it's not coming back down. Exercise. We're keeping it bent in 90 degree angle and keep pulsing up and down for 22 seconds before switching to left leg. This is pretty tiring, but we're so close to the end, so don't quit on me. Keep pulsing, keep working the booty. Lie back down for single leg glute bridge. Starting position is same as normal glute bridge. Exercise. But this time, lift your right leg up and bend, forming a 90 degree angle while left leg is bent on the floor. At the same time, lift your hips off the ground until your left knee, hips and shoulders form a straight line. Squeeze your booty hard at the top, then lower your hip back to the floor. Three, two, one, change. This is harder than normal glute bridge and it focuses more on one side of the booty before we switch to the left leg after 22 seconds. Again, the key here, just like all the exercises in this workout, is to squeeze your butt hard when your hip is lifted at the top. Twelve down, only three more to go. 13th is kneeling squat. This is so good for the booty and I love the burn. Start by kneeling on the mat with hands together in front of your chest. If you have knees problems, you can place a towel underneath your knees. Keeping your chest up, step right foot forward, followed by the other leg. But here we're not standing up, we're staying in squat position. Then kneel right leg back down onto the mat followed by left. This is one rep. Repeat for 22 seconds and then we'll step with left leg first, both up and down. Be mindful to keep the tension in your butt which is why we're staying in squat position without standing up so our booty is fully engaged at all times. Push it guys, I'm here with you so let's finish it strong together. Yes. Two more. 14th is single leg flip bridge hold. This is basically the same as single leg flip bridge, but this one, once we lift one leg up, we're not coming down, we're holding it up in the air for 22 seconds before switching to the other leg. Here, focus on squeezing the booty during the hold. Try to keep up the lift with your butt muscles and not the back. Three, two, one, change. Hold it guys, you're stronger than you think, only less than two minutes ago. Rest. 
come back down, the very last exercise is standing kickback. Don't worry, this final booty burn is also for us to cool down. It's quite similar to the donkey kick we did before, but this time we're standing up. Exercise. Hands in front of your chest, with a slight bend in both knees, shifting your weight to the left leg, keeping the balance and squeeze your booty as you raise your right leg back up. You should feel a burn in your glutes when your leg is lifted at the top. Repeat on this side for 22 seconds and switch to left leg. Three, two, one, change. Try your best to keep your balance here and also focus on giving the booty the final burn. Don't stop guys, let's get it done. We're done with this 15 minutes booty workout. You did such a great job and I'm so proud of you for staying with me till the end. I promise this is going to be worth it. Here I'll also show you two more advanced moves that you can try after you feel like you have mastered this workout. First is clamshell in air. This really targets the smaller muscles in our booty that are commonly overlooked in other exercises. It's basically a bent knee side plank, feet together, but here we squeeze the booty so hard that we lift both legs off the floor. You can hold each side for 22 seconds. I love this one not only because it is so good for the booty and the side abs for smaller waist, it's also good for balance and it looks super cool in photos. The next advanced move is called pistol squat. It's extremely hard for most people because it requires a lot of mobility, strength and balance. It took myself 8 months to be able to do one. Basically, it is a rock bottom squat on one leg where your hamstring rests on your calf and your other leg is straight out in front of you. You can alternate between sides for 45 seconds. I hope you enjoyed this workout. You can head over to my stretch video for a comprehensive cool down and I'll see you again very soon. Dude, those leggings look great. Dude, the fucking leggings distract me. Oh. <laughs> Wait. My hair messy. Hair is okay. It's okay. The mo mo is okay. Don't know why it doesn't go. <laughs>